Hey guys, how's it going? So I wanted to show you guys how I made this wood epoxy elongated bowl. Now this is a project that honestly I didn't know exactly how the shape was going to turn out when I started. And I just started by splitting the wood up and trying to generate this really cool random pattern for the epoxy. I was using this piece of spalted maple that I got from Jay Bates. Uh, this is actually one of the other pieces from the log that was used to make the dinosaur egg bowl. And this one had a long void through the side of it, uh, kind of a bark inclusion that all the bark was gone from. So after getting it all taped up and sealed so it wouldn't leak, I poured out some total boat epoxy and just kind of guessed honestly at the amount I was going to need. I think I wound up using around 26 ounces. And I wanted a really cool looking color that was a little different than something I've used before. So I decided to go with this Mystic Green and Mineral Glacier from KP Pigments. And the color was really cool looking. It was extremely bright with a uh, contrasting really dark green. And the cool thing about it is, is once you put it into a mold like this, it's actually going to darken up a little bit as not much light is going to come through the sides of the log or the cracks to brighten up the color. So uh, this looked really nice. And with this uh, color wood and the contrasts and character it's going to have, I think it's going to look really great. After the piece was cast, it was time to get it shaped to a rough shape on the lathe. And this was a little interesting just because, first off, it was a strange shaped bowl. So it was a little bit of a learning curve on how to turn it. Uh, I was using carbide tools and that made things much easier. If not, make sure you guys use a bowl gouge and that will help with the ingrain turning. After I got the bowl roughed out and got some of the sides sanded down as I didn't want to cut it any smaller, and needed to remove some of the material on the outside of the bowl i turned it around and started to hollow out the interior of the bowl now this was an interesting process in the way that you want to keep the bowl a elongated shape so you don't really want to change the geometry of the edges so you work your way out to the sides allowing for enough wall thickness that the bowl will be strong and just keep working back and forth Afterwards, you start to widen out the depth and you'll figure out on whatever particular project you're doing this on exactly how far out you can go. You have to be a little careful though in the way that if you go too far out, you're going to gouge down into those walls and you could weaken it, especially at the bottom where it will be a little thinner anyway. Another thing to keep in mind is try not to rush too much as if you try to cut off too much material, you really do risk your bowl shattering or catching and breaking or anything like that. And not only could it be dangerous, but it could definitely ruin your project. So I decided to finish out this bowl like I do most. After getting it shaped and sanded, I used some mineral oil to really just bring out the grain and the colors of the wood. And man, was this, this stuff was just amazing. I kind of lost my words when I first saw it because of how much character it had. The spalting through the wood added with the green epoxy, it just looked amazing. So I took and rubbed in a mineral oil on every surface of the bowl and let it soak for a while before rubbing it off and then finished it up with a little bit of Turner's wax. So guys, that's how I made this elongated epoxy bowl. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And also, if you want to follow more daily videos, head over to Instagram at JPayne Woodworking. And also check out my Etsy or Patreon. The links are in the description if you want to show your support. And I appreciate it, guys. And we'll see you on the next one.